a very warm welcome to one and all. I am Rohini Betwal from Gokhale Education Society. Jelly Sibit Go English Medium High School with 8th Standard, 5th Chapter, Inside and Out. Can you recall students? Matter is made up of very small particle, so we can say that it is a minor particle of any substance. Now tell me, what is an atom then? Teacher, an atom is the smallest particle of an element which retains its chemical identity in all physical and chemical changes. Very good. Then tell me, what is the smallest unit of matter? Teacher, an atom is the smallest unit of matter. See students, we have seen that matter is made of molecules. Molecules are formed from atoms. Effectively, an atom is the smallest unit of matter. An atom is the smallest particle of an element which retains its chemical identity in all the physical and chemical changes. Now see students, one table is given in front of you, that is 5.1. We will complete the table putting tick marks in appropriate box. See students, three examples are uh, given, already solved. We will just go through it. Water, it is a molecule and different type of atoms in the molecule and it is a compound see the oxygen it oxygen is a molecule single type of atom in the molecule and it is an element now see the helium helium is an atom single type of atom in the molecule it is an element let us see the hydrogen so students hydrogen is a molecule single type of atom in the molecule and it is an element now see ammonia so ammonia is a molecule it is different types of atoms in the molecule and it is a compound nitrogen is a molecule single type of atom in the molecule and it is an element methane is a molecule different types of atom in the molecule and it is a compound comment me argon neon and chlorine answer is in front of you who discovered Teacher, Indian philosopher Kannad in 6th century BC discovered the atom. Very good student. See students, Indian philosopher Kannad in 6th century BC stated that there is a limit to divide matter into small particles. The indivisible particle that constitute matter were named by Kannad Muni as a Parmanu. He also stated that Parmanu is indestructible, that is, it cannot be divided. And Greek philosopher Democritus in 5th century BC stated that matter is made of small particles and this cannot be divided. The smallest particle of matter was named by Democritus as atom. In Greek language, atomus means the one which cannot be cut, means which cannot be divided. Let us move towards Deltas atomic theory students british scientist john dalton put forth in 1803 ad his celebrated atomic theory according to this theory matter is made of atoms and atoms are indivisible and indestructible all atoms of an element are alike while different elements have different atom with their different mass so uh, we will move towards try this see students a bundi laddu is found to have an internal structure it is found by sticking smaller particles the bundis to each other however the solid ball broadly speaking does not have any internal structure the atom as described by daltons turn out to be a hard solid sphere with no internal structure 
according to dalton's atomic theory the mass is distributed uniformly in an atom let us move towards thomson's plum pudding model of atom the plum pudding model of atom put forth by jj thomson in the year 1904 is the first model of atomic structure according to this model the positive charge is distributed throughout the atom and the negative charge electrons are embedded in it the distributed positive charge is balanced by the negative charge on the electrons therefore the atoms becomes electrically neutral now see the scientist jj thomson demonstrated experimentally that the negative charge particles inside an atom have a mass 1800 times less than a hydrogen atom later these particles were named as electron common substances are usually electrically neutral let us move towards rutherford's nuclear model of atom rutherford studied the inside of atom by his celebrated scattering experiment and put forth the nuclear model of atom in the year 1911 rutherford took a very thin gold foil thickness 10 to minus 4 micrometer and bombarded it with positively charged alpha particles emitted by a radioactive element he observed the path of alpha particles by means of a fluorescent screen around the gold foil it was expected that the alpha particles would get reflected from the gold foil if the positively charged mass were evenly distributed inside the atoms unexpectedly most of the alpha particles went straight through the foil a small number of alpha particles get deflected from the original path through a small angle a still small number of alpha particles get deflected through a larger angle and surprisingly one alpha particle out of 20000 bounces back in the direction opposite to the original path The large number of the alpha particles that went straight through the foil indicates that there was no obstacle in their path. It means that there must be mainly an empty space inside the atoms in the solid gold foil. The small number of alpha particles that get deflected through a small or a big angle must have faced an obstacle in their path. It means that positively charged and heavy part causing obstruction would be the center of the atom from this rutherford put forth a nuclear model for atom as follows he states that there is a positively charged nucleus at center of an atom almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus third negatively charged particles called electrons revolve around the nucleus then he said that the total negative charge on all the electron is equal to the positive charge on the nucleus it means that they are electrically neutral as the opposite charges are balanced the atom is electrically neutral and last he said that there is an empty space between the revolving electron and the atomic nucleus see students an established law of physics an electrically charged body is revolving in a circular orbits its energy decreases according to this law the atom described in rutherford's model turn out to be unstable in reality however all atoms except radioactive atom are stable this shortcoming of rutherford's atomic model was removed by the atomic model put forth by neil bohr in the year 1913 let us move towards bohr's stable orbit atomic model in the year 1913 danish scientist niels bohr explained the stability of atom by putting forth stable orbit atomic model the important postulates of bohr's atomic model are as follows The electrons revolving around the atomic nucleus lie in the concentric circular orbit at certain distance from the nucleus. 
second energy of an electron is constant while it is in a particular orbit and the third was when an electron jump from an inner orbit to an outer orbit it absorb energy equal to the difference of its energy level and when it jumps from an outer orbit to an inner orbit it emits energy equal to the difference of its energy level some more atomic models were put forth after bohr's atomic model atomic structure was studied at depth with the advent of a new branch of science called quantum machines with all those some well accepted fundamental principles of atomic structures are as follows but uh, we will see the part in the next video so take care students thank you bye take care